You guys watch 24-7? Yeah, bud. Let's talk about it! Yeah. Episode 1 of HBO 24-7 featuring the Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wing. Red Wing? Red Wing. Red Wing. Anyway, episode 1 of 24-7 is in the books. I am Steve Dangle with producer Chris. Adam yeah. Wild. That, I didn't even have to say it. No. What did you notice? Because personally, I noticed that bubble hockey can be taken just as serious as real hockey. And Joffrey Lupul's handsome. I've been told I look like Joffrey Lupul. You don't. Okay. Now, growing up, there's all sorts of dream jobs you could have. Like, I want to be a goalie for the Leafs, or I want to be a forward. How much do you think the toaster fixer makes? Um, nothing. Can I talk about a real thing? Go ahead. Hockey's pretty, and HBO makes hockey look pretty. That goes back to your whole loophole thing. Yeah, but does not look like you. It kind of looks like Doesn't really look like you. A little bit no, with the flick. Nothing. Tavares. He's pretty too. Hated the Game 7 recap. I could I could live without ever seeing that again. You guys were quiet. Paper. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason for that. They had the production value. They could have just redid it so that the Leafs won. And when Mike Babcock was like, oh, well, we haven't won since 08. Oh, shut up! I don't like him very much. No. Except during the Olympics. We all like yeah, him. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Babcock! I liked learning a little bit about Detroit, but the weird thing there is in the Red Wings segment, they had something I saw with the Leafs, which was a goaltending controversy, sort of. Like, you figure Rhyme or Bernie, that sort of thing would be something that HBO would lash onto, not so much in episode one. I feel like we learned a lot about Mike Babcock, but not a lot about Carlisle. Well, we know he doesn't like almond butter. Or, you know, a regular toaster. It was complicated. <laughs> Clearly. I think, all in all, after years of seeing, you know, the Flyers and the Bruins and the Penguins and all these teams featured in 24-7, it was nice to see the Leafs finally in there, but even the first episode was just a tease. We learned Lupul dresses well, Phaneuf dresses well, Alicia Cuthbert shoots right-handed. And is Gorgeous. It well, was very gorgeous. Like me. No, well, a little bit like me. Nah, it's the I, mean, flick. I think there's a lot more they can do with the Rhymer Bernier thing. I'm interested to see what they do with. They were devastated by the St. Louis Blues, but defeated the odds against the defending Stanley Cup champ. You know what I mean, right? I want to see them give Pavel Datsuk just a clean sheet of ice, a stick, and a puck, and see what he does. And I think definitely, maybe not next episode, maybe not the one after that, but by the end of this series, we need a Leafs bubble hockey tournament. Full thing. Who do you got? Phil Castle. Who do you got? What is bubble hockey? Bubble under the dome with the, the sticks. Thing. Table hockey? The bubble hockey. Bubble hockey. It's hockey in a, a bubble. bubble. It's You're been called idiot. bubble hockey since the dawn. No. I have Kadri winning the bubble hockey tournament. Bubble. It's not a bubble. Thing. It's in a bubble. Nifty mittens. Who do you guys have? I knew you were drinking. It's bubble hockey. Leave a comment down below. You're bubble hockey winner. And obviously what you wanted to see more of, what you like, dislike, whatever. That's all for this episode. Until next time, I'm Steve Dangle. That's Adam Wilde. And he's wrong. It's bubble hockey. <laughs> <laughs> bubble. It's bubble hockey. Nifty mittens. Nifty mittens.